Oh my god, I try to shoot this video. This is my third take. <laughs> my third take on shooting this video. What I'm going to be talking about is salt. Plain old salt, white salt, table salt, regular salt, Himalayan salt, black salt, all kind of salts. I'm going to put the links in the description box so you can just click on the link and it'll take you directly to the website that talks about salt. What is salt used for? Why are you talking about salt? Salt has many magical properties. You know, it can help protect you from a lot of negative energies, negative forces. Like, you know, they have salts to take a bath with, Epsom salt, all kinds of salt, but you see how they market it. They market it so to sell it for what it's for, like for aches and pains, for muscles or for things to flavor your food, but they're not going to tell you what are the magical properties of salt. Nobody's going to tell you. Like, this is stuff you got to sit there and you got to look it up. Like, you have to look it up all by yourself and find out what are what are magical properties like what can i do to to help myself to protect myself from all this negative energy because people keep coming for me like oh my god like what i'm gonna do you could just get some plain old salt <laughs> salt and salt will help you so i'm gonna put i'm sorry i know it's noisy it's i am in new york city it is noisy it is noisy it's getting hot Summer's coming. <laughs> it's getting hot and I have my window open. Oh, I am sorry, but it, you're going to hear the noise. So I'm going to talk about the magical properties of salt. All right. Considered one of the most sacred minerals on the earth. Salt represents prosperity and protection. It was once prized as currency and used to pay salaries. So to believe people used to get paid in salt because salt did so many things that like you can use plain old salt for so many things salt is associated with financial abundance especially mixed with green vegetables and ingredients related to prosperity and wealth use salt for cleansing energies both physical and not one of the most well known use for salt is in creating the protective barriers known as the salt circle so you know you see it in movies and oh, witchcraft stuff they always do in this circle of salt but you never know what it is but you always know that it's protecting that person that's inside the circle and nobody can get past that the salt nobody can get past it no no negative energy can get past this salt so it's like you can use salt on your front door like in the cracker do you close your door and you've got this little crack right there you could put salt right there and that's protecting any all negative energies from entering your home you could put it on your window you could take a bath with salt like you use salt crystals they always tell you for calming and to make you feel good smell good you can exfoliate you can do all this stuff with plain old salt <laughs> but they don't tell you the magical properties of salt like it is a form of protection you can use it to protect yourself from negative energies sea salts are sacred to water deities while remaining a mineral of earth volcanic salts are sacred to fire and volcano deities and salts retrieved from underground mines are sacred to earth spirit deities so this article is salt magic the salt magic it was in reference to witchcraft and pagan lifestyle blog the magic kitchen because they call you a kitchen witch because you're using regular household ingredients like this is something you find in your kitchen cabinet that you cook with with this but nobody's gonna tell you that you could use this to protect yourself you can make a bath with it and just cleanse yourself with it take this negative energy away like you just pray and like you bathe yourself with just plain old salt water and it's a form of cleansing himalayan salts so this is another one so this is another article the salt room and wellness spa the amazing healing powers of salt so i'm gonna just go into it like dead sea salt zaps aches aches and pains eczema since ancient times, people have flocked to the Dead Sea in Israel for healing benefits. 
This landlocked body of water contains salt with the highest concentration of therapeutic anti-inflammatory minerals on earth. Like, okay. <sighs> Detox with Hawaiian red salt. Hawaiian red, Hawaiian sea salt or red salt is a natural product of Hawaii found in its rich volcanic soil. Natives use the salt not only as a tasty topping on food because you know you use salt to flavor your food to season your food like if your food doesn't have salt in it it's not going to taste so good so salt is like it's important like you use it like you actually use it every day like you may not notice when you're using it but you actually use it and you can also use it for protection for just to protect yourself to bring bring abundance to you also Hawaiian salt and scrubs and skincare products help to draw toxins from the body, leaving your skin looking healthier and more radiant. So even those salt scrubs, like you buy those regular little salt scrubs and you think it's nothing. Like, no, you're actually cleansing yourself and your body. You're cleansing yourself from all this negative energy and you don't even know it. And it's using regular salt, <laughs> a salt scrub. Let's see. Himalayan pink salt increases energy. Decades ago, scientists noticed that workers in salt caves deep in the Himalayans suffered from fever respiratory problems than others they suffered from. Okay. Now study proves that the salt emits unique ions that purify the air, neutralizing environmental pollutants, and help prevent symptoms of allergies and asthma. They also increase energy well-being and resistance to illness let's see because i was looking for the magical properties because there's so many magical properties of salt plain old salt so let's see i'm gonna go into black salt so this is what is black salt black salt has been used for many centuries for protection for cursing also hexing, banishing, and reverse magic. Like if you want to reverse any kind of spell or any kind of magic somebody put on you, you use black magic to repel it. Black salt absorbs negative energies and leftover. Anything stagnant, vibrations, negative energies can dull your aura and even attach to us in our space, potentially leading to emotions such as depression, lack of motivation, anxiety, and other unhealthy habits. Black salt can absorb negative energies from your environmental circumstances and often used in spells and magical workings to create boundaries, assist with your spiritual bar barriers, and provide protection. You can use it in your spells and your candles, Whatever work you're doing, it's use. It's a form of protection. It's to protect yourself from this negative energy because that's what people do. <laughs> they will fuck with you, and you have to know how to protect yourself. I don't mean to curse, but it's like you know. I get so frustrated with people when they shit, and it's like, and then they keep doing it, and it's like you know, like are you fuck? Are you serious? <laughs> like are you serious? You just protect yourself, cleanse your energy. Nothing can affect you. Vibe high, raise your vibration. Don't ever go to their level. Like you always stay in a high vibration. You stay positive. You stay calm. Don't get upset because these people are dumb as hell and they gonna keep doing it. Black salt can be used alone or as a base for your spell work or ritual work and can be combined with other herbs and essential oils. So it's like salt. Salt, you can use it for anything. You can use it for your candles. You can use it. You can use it plain by itself as a protection barrier. You can put it on your door. You don't want any negative energies coming to your home. You put it on your window. You can use it on your body to cleanse yourself, cleanse your body from the negative energy. And here's one because I, I use this. I use this for my house. So I put salt and black pepper and i'll use the red pepper too because you know people people fuck with you and you mix that you make a mixture of it salt black pepper red pepper that's to keep your enemies away from you they're not going to want to step foot 
close to your house. They're not going to want to come nowhere near you <laughs> when that's on your door. And they can't come in. So it'll be like they, they just can't come in. They'll want to come, but they can't. They can't come to your house, come near your place because you have that barrier there. It's salt, black pepper, and red pepper. And that keeps your enemies away from you. So that's just something. I do that. I personally do that. And I do it. I always have it on my front door. Like, nobody can come to my house. But it's energy. Everything is energy. And you have to protect yourself from this negative energy. You can use the salt crystals. Take it in your wash rag or whatever. And you bathe with it. Like, after you take your soap, like, you bathe with your soap, then you just use regular salt. <laughs> the salt crystals and you put and you just rub it on yourself rinse and go about your day you can make a rinse just salt and water and it's a rinse you throw it on yourself cleanse yourself that's the form of cleansing you can use plain old salt to protect yourself from all this evil energy they were like you throw it over your shoulder like you use it to protect yourself. You have to be aware of how to cleanse yourself. You don't have to pay all this money for cleansing. Like, you can cleanse yourself. Like, if you know how to do it, then you can do it. And you don't have to go and spend all this money that you don't have. You know, if you have money to go to somebody, then you spend it. And you go to somebody. But you also... You know, you have to know how to take care of yourself by yourself because nobody is going to tell you. They're just going to look at you going through shit and nobody's going to tell you, oh, you can do this to help cleanse your energy, cleanse your... Nobody's going to tell you this shit. That, that's why I made, I made this video today. Thanks for watching. Thanks for clicking on it. And all of the articles will be in the description box. You can also use Google. Google the magical properties of salt. Everything will pop up. But I will include the links in the description box. Thanks for watching. <laughs> Leave with love. Always. Leave with love. Bye bye. Stay positive. No matter what. Stay positive. Bye.